was gonna be the second round pick that surprises everybody this season? Who's gonna be the the Draymond, the Joe Kick, or even the Quickly from last season? Who who's gonna be that guy to surprise a lot of people that's gonna be drafted in the second round? Mid to late. Yeah, I don't I I don't think this guy there's a good chance this guy won't be Draymond or Jokic, but I really like Sandro from Seton Hall. Okay. He, he's, he, he's like a 6'11 playmaker. Um, he, he's going to have to figure out some things at the NBA level on defense, which is great feel for the game. An NBA athlete, 6'11 that could initiate offense and a really nice passer. And I, I think I would definitely want to take him in the second round. And I think he could be a really good NBA player, a really interesting player. Yeah, I mean, do you, on draft night, do you think we're going to see a lot of trades? Because there are plenty of teams who have multiple first round picks. You got a lot of teams who don't have a pick at all. Do you think it's going to be a very active night for trades? Yeah, I do because you know Golden State is going to be in the mix. You know, who knows? Maybe the Knicks could be in the mix. You know, the the New York Knicks could be in the mix. So, yeah, I do think it'll. I think we'll see activity in terms of trades. But hopefully, you know, we don't see any activity, so we can look back at this top ten. And see if my predictions about what these GMs would do is uh, correct, because it messes everything up, man. If if Golden State packages, you know, these trades together, well, well they might though, because you know Wiseman didn't necessarily work out. I know he got hurt, but he didn't work out the way the way I I, I know they were hoping that he did. So maybe this year they might be like, you know what, let's bring in somebody that we know is a lot. Yeah. yeah, no, there's a good chance they'll move off of Wiseman, you know, so. Yeah, and I think there'll be interest from other teams because it was only his rookie season and he didn't even play a lot. So we got to see what, you know, the guy could do. We got to see what the guy could do. And I think he'll develop. Well, one last question on the draft. Um, we, we got together last year. Remember, I was high on LaMelo. LaMelo ended up winning rookie of the year. I know you're very right. high on Cade right now. If Charlotte yeah. said, I'm willing to trade you LaMelo and the number 11 pick for the number one to take Cade Cunningham, would Detroit say yes or no to that? What is what is with Lamelo? Lamelo yeah. and the eleventh pick to Detroit for that number one pick to be able to take Cade Cunningham. Who no. says no? Detroit says no. I don't even think Charlotte would even offer that just because. I yeah, like exactly. He's saying hypothetically. He just wants. To I'm see saying it. no, no. I'm saying hypothetically. Yeah, I'm just trying to get trying a gauge for. He, yeah, he's trying to gauge how much value they think that Cade, Cade will bring has. to the NBA level. Yeah, yeah, Cade has. Yeah. No, I don't think I'm not do saying that. Charlotte. Yeah, I'm not saying Charlotte would even offer it. No, no. Yeah, again, that, I mean, it, it doesn't. It does. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think either side would do it. But no, I don't think. Devontae Graham. Maybe they try to flip Devontae Graham in that pick. I don't Devontae think Devontae Graham ain't give you a lottery pick. I, 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 no, no, K, K, I don't think they would K, take K, it either. But that's what they would try to. You K, know. Cade has too much outside, and he has a high floor as well. So I don't think they'd do that. Hey, there you have it. Before we go to combo. Plug the show, man. Everybody needs to be tuning in to Combo's Court. Combo be having some of the best guests over there, some of the most insightful basketball talks. So, Combo, go ahead, plug the show, man. Well, I appreciate that, Eric. You know, Combo's Court, you could catch it on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio. Um, you know, you can follow me on Instagram at 12Combo, O N E T W O C O M B O, Combo's Court on Twitter, C O M B O S C O U R T. And it's always fun talking basketball with you guys, man. You know, I think we have great conversations and I really appreciate you having me back on the show, guys. Nice. You got the, the, uh, was it the Dino, uh, Roger interview. I'm actually looking forward yeah, to tune it. in, man. That was great. That was great. Yeah, I got I got to check the, it out. I just sold up the, my fir the, fir the first basketball hall of famer on combos court. It was, it was a great conversation with Dino. Um, uh, yeah, check it out, man. Check it out. Combos court podcast. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Cause I usually like, so how my, my Apple, uh, uh, podcast is set up. I get every time Sanchez show, real fizz, real talk, uh, shooting the shit at uh, combos court. The new episode just popping, so once they pop in, right, I'm gonna click, I'm gonna listen. Well, except for real fizz, real talk, because I'm already, I already know it was said on the show. <laughs> <laughs> I listen, well, back. sometimes you know, sometimes I just listen to combos court on the road, you know what I mean? Yeah. I listen to my own no, show, no, yeah, I do, I, I do, I do, <laughs> yeah, and you're watching real fans, real talk. <laughs> Uh-huh. This is real fans, real talk. Real fans, real talk. We as real as you thought. Real 